Now that my husband has passed away, only she can become queen of Osaluna. I regret it so much for someone so young, and I'm afraid that General Kane will take advantage of that. Uh, I'll be here, Sophia. I'll detect where she's been. I know you will, Major Mason. I know you will. Yeah, sounds like your music. <laughs> Queen. 
Dus de mijn kost is dat je er two tiny countries must unite and stand together against the world. Therefore, for the good of both our countries, I, General Magnus King, declare my son. El Presidente de la República de las Ostas. Sí, está. You must trust Major Mason. You must do everything he says. Do you promise me you will do that? Yes, Mama, I promise. We need to move. Okay. Come on, where are we going? No, no, not with me, huh? You. The general will say you abandoned the country, but I must say it so the people know that you will be. No, 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 you. So no matter what happens, you never forget you are a princess. is only a girl, my love. She will contact her mother. And when she does, I will bring her back to Costanera, where she will rot with her mother in a tiny dirt cell. You will both become a tragic symbol of utility to those who would deny me. Take it away! Protection Program. 
the top secret agency funded by the world's royal families. We are actively providing protection to 29 princesses, all of whom have been threatened in one way or another. Hello, man. Oh, of course, sir. This is Princess Shonda. Last January, Major Mason rescued her from a politically motivated coup. We have placed her where no one will find her. Let's just say she's a little farther north than she's used to. She's freezing. Probably, but she's safe. Let's take a walk, shall we? Wait. Quiet, report. Princess 383 has had a successful extraction. She arrives at 100 hours. Princess 299 is still rejecting all attempts at transformation. Oh, and Princess 107 is in need of our services. What about me? Where are you sending me? Nowhere yet. First, you must go through stage three. Transformation. First, we start with the hair. And then, the wardrobe. Until you are unrecognizable as princesses. I do not know any of you people. I want to speak with Major Mason. I only trust Major Mason. Everything all right? Take me back to my country. Princess, I'm sorry, but General Kane has taken control of your country and assumed command of its government. But I must go back. And you will, as soon as we find a legal way to remove him. In the meantime, you have to let us protect you. But what about my mother? Who's protecting my mother? You are. As long as you're in Princess' protection, your mom will be safe. Please. General Kane is hoping you'll contact her so we'll know where to find you. What if he does find me? I'll make an example of you by sending you to prison or work for him. And Costa Luna will become part of his own personal kingdom with its true royal family, nothing but a memory. Bottom line, if you care about your country and your mom's safety, nobody can know who you really are. an average American girl. What happens now? Stage four. Relocation. Where? Somewhere where General Kane will never think of looking for the princess of Costa Luna. Sure. Rosie, I'm sure. Okay, so what are you doing here? 
Oh, Major Mason gave me this room. He did, huh? Yes, he's been very lovely. Lovely? Of course, the suite is much smaller than I'm used to, but it will feel much larger once I have that extra bed removed. It's not extra, it's mine. Will you excuse me for a second? Yes, you are excused. The director didn't give me a choice. Okay, because, you know, a normal dad would go to a foreign country on a secret mission and bring his daughter back a t shirt, not a person. You should have warned me. Carter, I didn't have a choice. She doesn't trust anybody but me. Yeah, I know the feeling. Hey, but what I do is complicated. But if I thought for one second for her family. Dad, I get it. So you're in? Do I have a choice? Good. Because I'm going to need your help. She needs to stay here for a while undetected. And in order for that to happen, she has to blend in as a normal American teenager. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen, Dad. She's a princess. Fine. No issues. shoes. Your cousin. <laughs> Carter, thank you. Now, if we do our job right, she'll be out of here and back to her own country in no time. Okay, so by Tuesday? It'll be soon. I promise. So you meet pal? Hmm? No. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. No. All right. You're going to work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Be nice. <laughs> sleeping arrangements? Look, the room is not yours. It's ours. We share it. Share. Share. I know that's probably a foreign concept for a princess, but what it means is that you get one side of the room and I get the other. So stay on your side. Oh, that's good. So I thought princesses had designer clothes and stuff. You should leave all that behind. But I was thinking you could, you know, learn some of your stuff. Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you. Now, we'll try again. I will after this hand. No, now. And don't look at my cards. She's closing. Last chance to eat something. No, oh, thank you. I wish to sleep. Okay. You may help me prepare for bed. I may? Yes. I need a nightgown. Preferably silk. Preferably pink. Pink silk. Let me see what I can cut. Here. Por favor, ¿dónde está el baño? Huh? May I use your restroom? Yeah, upstairs, first one on the right. Gracias. Okay, whatever. Thank you. 
Grab whatever looks good. Sure, you're holding right? Yeah, we're good. We're good? Where are we going? School. You're 16, you're not old. School. Of course. is in position. Stage four is complete. She's safe. That's affirmative. Absolutely safe. Would this be the queen? Honestly, we're dead. Maybe this is the queen. Well, technically, no. Not yet, anyway. Nice. Honest. I like it. Um, so I'm, I'm Ed, by the way. Can you hear Rosie. Rosie. I'm making a documentary. Listen, the, the, the rocky path from humble peasant to homecoming queen. The queen of homecoming? What is this homecoming? You, know, you never heard of homecoming? No, we have no such thing where I'm from. Really? Where's that? Do you, oh, um, that's from Iowa. She, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to school. Bye, guys. She's, and you're supposed to act like a little American girl. You're supposed to blend in. I'm trying. We'll try harder. She is Princess Carter. Sit down. Pussy, pussy. Sit. Like pussy. Excuse me. May I have a seat? I'm sorry. I think it's school property. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. She's hot. Bonjour, les étudiants. Comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? Ah, this must be a new student. Quite a Mrs. Cosy. Ah, mais vous étudiez le français, vous Oui, j'aime le français. C'est une si belle langue. Je parle ces langues. L'anglais, le français, l'espagnol, le portugais, l'italien et le japonais. Mais l'anglais est mon favori, puisque je suis américaine. Est-ce que cela vous a plu, vous, d'habiter aux États-Unis, mademoiselle Davero? Oui. Merci, Rosie. Where are you, my little princess? Ah, oh, Sophia. Thank you for joining me. Any news from Rosalinda? No, and there will never be. No, 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 no. we must not be so negative. Hmm? Perhaps, perhaps we should think happy thoughts. Um, shall I begin? I am picturing a dashing young general. <laughs> and he is, he is sitting on a throne. Royal subjects shower him with adoration. Hmm? <laughs> oh, and what do you know? They have crowned him their king! <laughs> you will never be the king of Costa Luna, not as long as I'm alive. You are ruining my happy voice. Hmm? Take it away! Mr. Neat. And I will have one of those. What is it? 
A hamburger? Gracias, señora. Next. they were into voting. So then, anyone can be a princess? Even you? Theoretically. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention? May I have your attention? I would like to nominate my cousin, Carter Mason, to be your queen. I think that she would make an excellent ruler. who has never seen a hamburger before can order one in six languages? Really? I always speak to my staff in their native tongue. They're not your staff. They're lunch ladies. Okay, Dad, can't you see that this isn't going to work? Carter, it's going to work, okay? We just have to give it a little time. Counting. Account what's in here. Put it 
in here. Have fun. Oh, I'm done. There's a whole other shelf too. Chores? Yeah. Rosie. All right. I think I need to bathe. Margaret, why don't you go in and clean this up, okay? Well, why me? She's the one who did it. Come on, pal. I'll help you. All right. It's not funny. <laughs> Come on, you know it's a little funny. Right, here, you want to laugh, no, too. No, I don't want to laugh. This yes, is serious. Yeah. Come on. Uh, pizza. Hey, pizza. We have pizza last night. How about, uh, how about burgers? How about this? Pizza and burgers. Pizza and burgers. Yeah. Want an appetizer or just together? No, no. I didn't know we still had all that stuff. What's all this? A proper dinner. To thank you for helping me clean up the mess that I made in your shop of bugs. It's bait. I'm aware. Okay. Oh, uh, here, let me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, but tonight I serve you. Oh, well, I'm not going to say no to that. It is for you. For me? Mm -hmm. To where? Okay. Fun. Come on, Carter. <laughs> so, um, you cook? I thought you had servants for that. Actually, my mother grew up a peasant, so she taught me many family recipes. Arroz con pollo a la fiore. Wow. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of fancy. Why don't we just order pizza? No, it's chicken and rice. Fantastic. Bring it on, Rosie. Oh, you know, I haven't had a real home-cooked meal since... Forever. Right. Let's take it. That, that is really, really good. I had no idea you can cook. Thank you. It's terrific. You're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like a roll? You made roll, rolls, too. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Must be nice to play peasant for a day. Would you excuse me? You do not know me, Carter. What's the big deal? You'll be back with your servants and your personal chef and private tutor soon enough. How much did your father tell you about me? Other than the obvious, I think we're on a need-to-know basis. I think you need to know that my name is Rosalinda Maria Montoya Fiore. And I'm a royal princess. No kidding. I'm from a small island nation called Costa Luna. Never heard of it. It is not on most maps. It's very small, very unimportant to large countries, but very important to me. When my father died, he left Costa Luna to me. You don't have to tell me. One month before my coronation, our palace was attacked. Your father was very brave. He risked his life for you, I know. That's his job. He rescues poor, oppressed princesses. Did he tell you we had to leave my mother behind? The man who invaded Costa Luna now holds her as a hostage. I didn't know. They told me by becoming Rosie Gonzalez was the only way to keep her safe. Stop. It's okay. Carter, whatever I did to make you dislike me, I'm truly sorry. I will try to blend in. I will try to be from Iowa. It is the only way to save my mother's life. 
Let's just start over. I would like that. But you need to lighten up on this princess stuff. It's really annoying. Absolutely. Please, I only want to be this typical American teenager. You know what? I think we can arrange that. I love this place. What is it? It's a bowling alley. That's bowling. Just do what I do and don't draw any attention to yourself. Oh, thanks. Sure. Sure. How are you doing? Hi, Ed. Hi. How are you doing, Rosie? I'm well, thank you. What would it be? Bowling, please. <laughs> no kidding. I'm not. I'm not. Thank you. Sure. Um, what size? Excuse me? Your feet. What size? Oh, um, I do not know if my shoes are made for me. There's a shock. Just get her some shoes. Okay. It's been a pleasure serving you, right? Thank you, Romeo. Thank you. Good. You're not blending in, pick a ball. Did you see that? Yeah. Nobody ever does that for us. Did you know? I know. I know. Uh, your shoe's untied. Don't trip. She can do it herself, like a normal person. So um, I'll just take this. You say. Carter. Right. So Johnny is your boyfriend? What? No, no, he's just a friend. But he's very special to you. I see the way you look at him. It's the same way that Ed looks at you. Okay, you're obviously not from here, so just go. You first. How do I win? You win by knocking down those white pins. Okay, I'm ready. What? You may fire at the target. You may fire it yourself. Because I care for him. Fine. I've been totally in love with him since like the third grade when he kissed me under the basketball hoop. Is that what you want to hear? He's quite beautiful. Much like a prince. I wonder if he's beautiful on the inside as well. Shall we bowl again tomorrow? I can't. I'm working at the beach shack. I've never worked before. Is this normal? Yes. Lots of kids have jobs. Then I will help you. You can't. Why not? Because it's mine. You can't have everything that's mine. Well, just want a job so bad, just, just go get one yourself. All right. 
Good night, Carter. Thank you for giving me this job, Chelsea. No problem, bro. Daddy owns like 17 arteries all over the South. He's the king. Your father is a king? A frozen yogurt. One more thing. You have to wear this. <laughs> So these are the frozen yogurt machines. You just pull the lever, and when it comes out, you just put a little swirly on top, and you're good to go, okay? Swirly? This is going to be great. And all your friends will be here to support you. We all want you to succeed at your first job. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Here's he is, folks, a future homecoming princess of Lake Mendo, Louisiana. Who is this natural beauty, you ask? Go, go, go away, I'm working. This is Carter Mason. Secret identity, big girl. So confident of her innate royalty, she is completely unafraid to handle whatever disgusting creature... Hey, it's in that bucket. <laughs> Not on my camera, please. Then try it off. No, today's my last day to get the before footage. The princess vote is tomorrow. When does your Chelsea have books? Nah, got tons of them already. They pay me to film them. Huh, is that why you're doing this? Because of the money? <sighs> Absolutely. I'm the only senior guy in Lake Monroe who doesn't have a car. <sighs> Figures. You really hate this old princess thing, don't you? I don't hate it exactly. I just think it's shallow. Girls like Chelsea and Brooke, all they care about is shoes. Like wearing the right clothes makes them superior. I just want to do something more important in my life. Like my dad. Yeah. yeah, he does sell some sick bait. Right. So speaking of princesses, where's Rosie? How should I know? I think I just found her. <laughs> you make a fool of yourself. Carter, it's okay. I'm not a fool. 
And she cannot make something out of me that I am not. Because we have to do something. I will turn the other cheek. Because that is what princesses do. like the third grade, but it's never too late to learn. I'm ready to try. Good luck. <laughs> nice. Okay, next we'll work on slouching, eye rolling, and talking back to my dad. If Mr. Elegante could see me right now, he would be so mad at me. Who's Mr. Elegante? My royal dress designer. You're kidding, right? No. He's a close family friend. If they were ever in an emergency, he would be the first to call. Must be nice to be a queen. Actually, it's not all about the dresses and crowns, Carter. My mother told me that my father never called himself king. To our people, he was father, brother, and friend. I hope to be like him when I'm queen of Costuino. Father, brother... No! <laughs> I want to make a difference. Could you something more important for life? Yes. You're different than I thought a princess would be. I hope that is a good thing. Yeah, it is. Thank you for helping me today. A princess is never sure who her true friend is. Today, I'm sure. Me too. <laughs> now give myself this one and this one. For bravery... And honor. A thief has no honor. Ah, Sophia, come in, come in, come in. We have a great deal to discuss. Do you think it's too much? Hmm? I want to look my best when I announce my engagement today. <laughs> Who could be so unfortunate as to become your bride? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, she is standing right here in this room. <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. I will never marry you, ever. <laughs> of course you won't. But Rosalinda will not know this. She will see the announcement. Assume you are doing it to protect her. And come race you back to her mother's side just in time to join you in exile. The people of Costa Luna will never accept that. It's the same was said for the people of Costa Estrella 20 years ago. And, um, look what happened. Take her back to her cell. Oh, and, um, bring me back here and make up tea. We must touch up this gray before I go on camera. Here. Oi! Sorry. Hey, where's everyone going? Morning, students. Hey, Mr. Carter. I'm going to write you into this princess thing. I'd like to announce the winners. And your princesses are... Chelsea Barnes. Mason. Carter Mason. And your third and final princess is Rosie Gonzalez. school. 
people. They're supposed to move for Carter instead of Rosie. Not Carter and Rosie. This is all your fault. How is it my fault? If you're more popular, you'd be the princess, not her. This is not good, okay? Me being a princess is not normal. Hey there. Hey, Rosie. Can I talk to you? Me? Her? Yeah. So you know there's a homecoming dance and everything, and, uh... You gonna dance with me, Rosie? Me? Her? Yeah. I want you to be my date for dance. Tony, that is very kind of you, but... No. Will you excuse me? Uh, sure. That was the most humiliating thing that has ever happened to me. And I've been humiliated a lot. What was I thinking? I like Donnie would never go out with me. Then he is not worthy of you. Yeah, you can say that because you're all high and royal. You're just a girl who sells bait. No. You are so much more. You are a princess now. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not a princess. Yes, you are. You just do not feel like one yet. When I came here, you taught me how to act normal, not real. Now it is my turn to teach you. You think that being a princess is superficial. Yeah, I guess. That it is about what you wear and how you look. Well, it is a little bit about how you look, but more importantly, it is about what you have to offer the world and who you are inside. Come on, Carter. Let's go find your inner princess. <laughs> job to help people. I guess I never really thought about what it really <laughs> means to be a princess. Like this. I can't believe you actually have to do this. Oh, no, you don't. Wait, then why am I doing it? <laughs> because it is funny. <laughs> I hate you. Do? No, 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 no. No, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean I hate you. I hate you. I meant I hate you like you're my best friend. Oh, well, then I hate you too. And that dress is ugly. It is? No. It's beautiful. And so are you. Look. You're becoming a princess on the inside. And now you look like one too. Excuse me. I had this lame writing assignment for Spanish class. Do you think that you have something that's really easy with lots of pictures? Rosalinda? No way! 
Mason, what's going on? General Kane's announcement of his engagement to Doña Sofia Montoya has popped up in several tabloid magazines. The story is contained so far, but uh, I would be lying to say I was not concerned. She never agreed to marry him. I was not suggesting she would, Major. General Kane's doing this to draw Rosalind out. He knows she won't allow her mother to be forced into marriage. Absolutely. So, it is imperative that we keep this from Rosalinda. Yes, ma'am, I agree. Major, has she made any enemies? Anyone who might want to expose her identity? Not that I know. Let's move that throne here. No, actually there. Oh, I know. Up there. And let's hang some lights directly on it. That might too much of a skin tone. We should hire a lighting designer. The budget's gone, Chelsea. What you see is what you get. Okay. I know a follow spot just on me. Maybe like pink or, or golden like the sun. It's great to be queen. Uh, you're not queen yet. Carter could win. Or Rosie. Can't it, Muffy? My name's Margaret. Hey, Chels. Don't call me that. You lost that right when you lost your princess crown the fake girl and her strangely formal cousin. Well, what if we could get Rosie to drop out of homecoming altogether? She would never do that. She might. She's not who she says she is. She's Princessa Rosalinda. It's in Spanish. What does the article say? I'm not sure. What? I'm pretty not smart. Hey, let me try. It's about Rosie and Mom. Um, one of them has fled the country, and one of them is in prison or a paper bag. I get those two mixed up. A biggie. Good work, Brookie. Thanks, Chels. I have a plan. Hey, girls. Hi, Mr. Mason. Is Rosie home? Maybe. What's up? Oh. Well, we're planning a little princess surprise for Carter to congratulate her. Yeah, uh, it was Rosie's idea. She's in her room. Go on in. Podemos entrar, Princesa Rosalinda? Sí, entren, por favor. I've never heard of Costa Luna. Have you, Brookie? No, Chelsea. I do not know what you were talking about. We know all about you and your mother and the paper bag. My poor Princess Rosalinda. Did she hear she's in hiding? You do not understand. I understand that you lied to us. Only to protect my mother. From the paper bag? No. Look, I will give you a reward for keeping my secret. Oh, we know you will. You do? And we already have it picked out. I don't understand. Yeah, me either. You're going to turn your crown, princess. You're going to tell everyone that there is and only will be one true homecoming queen. And that's me. That's good. Fine. You may take my crown. But you will not take Carter's. She's not that too, Chelsea. Come on. Let Bake Girl play princess for one night. She just won't look like one. What's wrong? I have to leave, Carter. Leave? Leave where? Back to my country. General Kane is forcing my mother into marriage. My father's never going to let you go back. He'll never know. Yeah, but I know, and I'm not going to let you go back either. Carter, you have to stay out of this. I have a duty to my people, and this is something that you'll never understand. I've loved living here in Louisiana. And I wish my life could be like this every day. This is not reality. You, you think my life as a princess is some fairy tale? This here is a fairy tale. I cannot hide here anymore. 
Soon I will be queen of Costa Luna. My country needs me. You're right. They do need you. They need you to lead them and to protect them. And that's something you can't do from jail, which is exactly where you'll end up if you go back to Costa Luna. Why am I letting this happen? Hola, this is Elegante. Who is this? That's not important. All that matters is I'm a friend of Princess Rosalinda and she's about to make a very big mistake. What princess? What mistake is this? She wants to come home. No, 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 she must not. It's demasiado peligroso. It's too dangerous. I know, but I have a plan, and I need you to listen very carefully. I will do anything for the princess. Anything. Okay, to start with, I'm going to need two dresses. You okay? I'm going to miss this place. I'm going to miss you, Carter. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to miss you, too. Rudy, can you do me a big favor before you go? Good evening. You said it is a princess's job to help others. This? Well, the dance is on Friday night, and there's some people that I want to help. I want to make this night special for them. For all of us. Will you please stay until then? Could I, please? Absolutely. I feel in one way I'm betraying my queen, but I thought you should know me. It's for the good of Rosa Luna. You did the right thing by coming to me, senor. Through the jet. Tell the pilot we will be flying to Louisiana. Sí, general. <laughs> A lovely color. Lovely indeed. Caribbean blue, General, to compliment Princess Rosalinda's skin tone. Well, back to work. You have it just a bit. Two, actually. Where did you get them? They said to call Mr. Elegante if I had an emergency, and they think that this is a fashion emergency. Carter, you are brilliant. This one? is yours. He says you look best in pink. And this one is mine. It's Caribbean blue. <laughs> Thank you, Carter. This is a night I'll always remember. <laughs> I hope so. Um, are you guys ready? Because it's getting kind of late. Come on in, girls. <laughs> Helen's house of beauty is open for business. <laughs>
things we must earn. So I want to thank Carter Mason for teaching me these things and for being my friend. Carter, where are you?
ladies, you're here. Excellent. Are you ready for your next assignment? I am. Oh, me too. But I'm going to sit a little bit warmer. My feet are still frozen from my walk. I'm not thinking. Carter, you can be such a princess. Something wrong with that? Don't worry. 